Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today, I'm going to teach you how to set your product and services options in QuickBooks Online. Let's get started. First, let's look at our homepage for our 46 free QuickBooks tutorials. You can find this by Googling Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online tutorials. So today, we're going to be talking about how to set your options for your product and services in QuickBooks Online. If you're wanting to actually learn how to set up the products and services, um, so the products and services themselves, for instance, an inventory item for each uh, type of inventory you have, you'll want to go to our sidebar and in the second part of our part one of lessons we have how to set up the product and services list. So that's where you actually create the different types of products and services. So what we're going to be talking about today is just how to set the options up for your products and services. Okay, so let's start from our QuickBooks Online dashboard. If you don't have a subscription yet to QuickBooks Online, you can click the link below this video to get 50% off for three months. So let's go to your cog wheel, your settings options in the right corner, and go to account and settings under your company, and then sales, and in our products and services section these are the five options that we're going to talk about today so the first option is our show product and services column on sales form so let's look exactly what this the uh, this column is because this really is the heart of what we're talking about when we're talking about our products and services so I'm going to get out of our account settings quickly and let's go to sales and let's look at an invoice We'll look at this invoice to Aaron. Okay, so notice in our invoice here we have a product and services field. And that's what we're talking about here. So we have a we have a service item set up as NSF fee. And by choosing that service item as we fill out the invoice it will actually route it to the correct account number so rather than creating invoices and indicating exactly which account we want it to go to we can indicate which product or service it is and that will then tell QuickBooks which account uh, to make it to and so the advantage of that is you can keep your chart of accounts much simpler you only have to have one revenue account and you can have all of these different products and services that you sell and be able to produce reports showing your numbers by product or service again without having to have a million different revenue accounts in your chart of accounts and so that's what we're really talking about today so we want to learn how to turn on and off this product and services column on our sales forms so let's escape from here I'm going to click the X. Now let's go back to our settings again. So account and settings, sales, and then this product and services section. So I'm going to turn on the product and services column. Um, I highly recommend uh, that everybody have that turned on again so you can use your product and services feature. It's really the backbone of QuickBooks Online. Um, show the SKU column. So if your company uses its own set of SKUs to track products, you can turn that on and that'll provide you a field on your invoices uh, in order to show the SKU. Um, I have that turned off. Turn on the price rules. Uh, so QuickBooks Online has very powerful pricing rules. You can set special rules uh, for pricing for maybe family members or for preferred customers, uh, one particular customer. Uh, in particular and you can set these price rules to something like for this particular customer let's give them 90% off so if you want to be able to use the price rules you first have to turn them on in this section so I have that turned on uh, if you want to track quantity and the price rate or if you want to track your inventory on hand you have to have these last two turned on uh, if you have inventory so if you want to keep if you have something products you buy and sell and you keep on hand that's inventory you have to have these last two uh, options turned on in order for QuickBooks to track your inventory. If you try to set up an inventory list item and you don't have these turned on, it will tell you you have to turn them on. Okay, great. So that's how you set up your options for products and services. And then again, I highly recommend you look at our other lesson on how to actually create the products 
and services list once you have these options correctly set. Uh, one more thing before we go, let's talk about the price rules. So the price rules is actually a special list item. So I've turned it on so we can save this and we'll get out of here. Let's go to our cog wheel. and all lists and you can see under products and services we now have a list for price rules if you're missing this list that means you have the price rules shut off in the options that we just looked at and so let's glance at what price rules we have well, we don't have any price rules yet so um, I'll let you explore that on your own we have other lessons available um, but the uh, Price rules are very powerful, and again, if they're not showing up as an available list, it's because you haven't turned on that option. So I appreciate your attention today in visiting this tutorial. Please remember to Google QuickBooks Online Tutorials from Fit Small Business to view all 46 of our free QuickBooks Online Tutorials. Thank you.